Hi, I'm Jules from Jules Pilates in Madison, Wisconsin. I teach um, both private lessons and group classes, Pilates and Coraline. A lot of times my clients will come to class and they'll have a great lesson, they'll feel good in their body, and then they have a question for me after class. They'll go, what do I do when I go home? So in between your Pilates lessons and your um, the next time you come to class, is a good time to practice some of the fundamental movements or some of the mo um, movement sequences that'll help your body remember all the good things that you did learn. So I've created a series of videos. Some of them are geared towards uh, uh, movement patterns and some of them are geared towards little massage and release patterns. Um, when you decide to um, have a little home practice for five or half minutes or a half an hour, you're going to really need to think about the space around you. So you want to have some place that um, uh, has enough room to move your arms and your legs in a way that you're not knocking into the kitchen counter or the ottoman or the um, guest bed and that you can roll your body down and up or stretch your legs fully out come to fully to standing. I am standing on uh, two layered mats on top of a harder surface. Um, that works for me. If you have a carpet, you might like to have just one mat over it to make it a little less cushy. But if we're doing moves where you're lying on your back, you don't want to hurt your back. You don't want to hurt your joints. You don't want to hurt your wrists or your ankles um, or your tailbone. So make sure that, give it a test run before you really get into it. Make sure that your surface is comfortable for you. Now on to the video. So find your comfy place and we're going to be lying on our side for this sequence. So if you need a ball or a cushion or a pillow or something that's going to uh, be comfortable to your neck, I'll show you how to use it. Um, have that nearby. Um, and then you're going to come down to one side. We'll do both sides today. And you want to line your body up so that the top hip is right over the bottom hip. And I say that because sometimes we lean back a little bit and then the hips are sort of facing up at an angle or sometimes we lean forward a little bit and the hips are down. You would do that on purpose if lying on your side creates a little pain. Sometimes with a tight IT band we do in fact have to lie a little bit upward with the hips facing upward to take the pressure off the IT band. But if you're fine, then come down. And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to stack your shoulders. So a lot of times when we're hanging out in the living room, we'll actually let the shoulder go above the rib cage, and then the rib cage has this curve into the floor. But you're going to work to have the top shoulder over the bottom shoulder, and that's why it might feel nice to have something to tuck underneath your head. So when you're in this position, depending on the, your body shape, your waistline might be touching the floor, but your neck is definitely not going to be touching the floor. For some people, we don't actually need this ball or pillow or cushion or lift, and people can just bend your elbow and bring your hand underneath your head. But today, I think I'll go ahead and use that. feels right in my body, and then I can really get my shoulders stacked. The top hand is going to be on the floor for balance. This is just comfor comfortably bent and out of the way, bottom hand. Um, and then the uh, hand is placed near the waistline. Sometimes people will be up here, but it's usually easier to balance with your hand here. Then once your feet uh, or legs and hips are stacked, you're going to point through your toes and you're going to gather your waist up into your body. So. I could let my waist relax down and um, then I would have a curve in my low back. So ultimately what we're trying to create is a straight spine as if you were standing and then just suddenly tilt it onto your side. So some people are going to touch the floor here. Um, that's totally fine. I just have this particular shape to my hips, to my waist. Point through the toes. Have your knees aiming forward, and we're going to do our side leg lift in parallel first. So as you inhale, 
you're gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm pointing at my hips so you can keep an eye on this. As you inhale, you're going to lift that leg up only as high as the hip doesn't lift up and your waist doesn't touch the floor. So that's your neutral spine inside lying. And up and down, breathing in, breathing out. Let's do four more, three more, two more, one more. Now we're going to turn this into what Joseph Pilates called the leg pull, a traditional Pilates exercise. You're going to go up with your toes pointed, staying in parallel. Then you're going to flex at your ankle and you're going to turn the thigh out. So now my knee is up at that angle, bring the legs together. Parallel point through the ankle and toe, lift up, flex the ankle, turn out and pull down. Breathe in as you lift, point parallel, flex, turn out, exhale. Breathe in, flex, turn out, exhale. Now stay in your turn out and lifting up with your inhale, point through the toe and rotate to parallel leg. Exhale down, flex, turn out, breathe in, point parallel, exhale. Two more, breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out, bringing the legs together. So now you're gonna take this leg up just as high as you can bring the bottom leg up to meet it. You might not know the first time, but you can always adjust. Maybe you can go up higher, maybe you can go down, uh, you need to go down lower. Tighten the tummy. Now remember how I said the waist wasn't going to go into the floor? This time it will. Because as you bring out that leg up, you're actually doing a side bend through the lower spine up to the legs. And then exhale down. We get to do seven more. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Four, exhale. Three, exhale. Two, exhale. One more, exhale and bring the top leg down. At this point, you might feel some sort of a burning or uncomfortable sensation. Absolutely fine to go ahead and pat out those muscles. Pull your waist in, re-engage your abdominals. Top leg comes up with a flexed ankle position for side leg kick. Now, as you bring your leg forward, you're going to inhale. Try not to let your torso rock around. And you can see I added a little pulse. Point through the toe. Tighten the tummy, and as you reach the leg behind, you're only, to, only going to take the leg behind you as far as you can keep your hips square with each other. Flex the ankle, inhale forward, add that little pulse, point and reach behind, exhale. Inhale, forward pulse, exhale, point and reach behind. Inhale, forward pulse, exhale, point and reach behind. Just one more time. Inhale, forward pulse, Exhale, point and reach behind, then bring the legs back together. Sliding around, we'll go to side two. You can, you can uh, practice your fancy swing around with your legs for private style points or um, goofing around. Don't kick the cat, okay? Take your head onto your ball, abs are engaged, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. I can't find my happy place on this side. There we go. There's my head. Remember, top hand is near your waist. Bottom arm is comfortably bent. Hips are stacked. Po toes are pointed for the side leg lift. As you inhale, bring the leg up. Keep your waist engaged. Exhale down. Seven more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe out, two, one more time. Traditional Pilates leg pull. Point through the toe, bring the leg up in parallel, flex at the ankle, turn the thigh out and pull the legs together. Point parallel lift, flex, turn out, pull down. Point parallel inhale, lift, flex, turn out, exhale together. One more time, point parallel lift, flex, turn out, Exhale, then stay in the turnout and breathe in. Lift the leg up, point parallel, exhale. Flex, turn out, lift, point parallel, lower. Breathe in and lift, point parallel. Do one more for good measure. Up, point parallel, lower. 
Good. Again, top leg comes up just as high as you can bring the bottom leg. Lower leg lifts for eight. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, four, four. Think of the inner thighs meeting each other. Two more. One more, and then top leg comes down. Pat this out if you feel any sort of tiredness or burning sensation. Flex at the ankle, tighten the tummy, re-engage the waistline. Side leg kick, inhale forward, little pulse. Point and exhale, reach behind. Inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. This is where it really helps to have this hand near the waistline. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale, reach behind. Bring the legs together and you're done with your side leg series for now.